there's a challenge with using the word public. And, you know, we've, we've talked about this before, how sometimes words have more than one meaning, and it's easy to, to use them uh, incorrectly. Well, this is one that I think it's, it's, it's prudent to be on guard with. Uh, when somebody says a public place or a public space, what does that really mean? And this is often, I think, purposefully confused by people who are more of the collectivist variety, more of the, the Marxist variety. And they will say that the uh, grocery store is a public place. And this comes into uh, a lot of laws, like you can't run around nude in a public place. Well, is your yard a public place? Is the grocery store a public place? Uh, both of those are private property, uh, your yard and a grocery store. Well, what about if we're talking uh, a government building? Well, then that would almost certainly be a public place, wouldn't it? Does the community have a right? And let's just for a moment pretend that, that we were not well-read in, in uh, consistent libertarianism, and we thought that some government was acceptable. Let's just pretend that for a moment. You know, like we'll pretend we're these small government, uh, pro-government people, not big government, but small government. And we would say to ourselves, well, it would make sense that you shouldn't be allowed to go to a, a city park or a grocery store if you're a woman and you're topless. Well, wait a minute. What, what's wrong with our, our thinking here? We're starting to make laws about private property. So even if you believe in small government that would have nudity laws, doesn't seem to me that, that it should be for any property that is private. It seems to me that there's a big difference between private property that allows the public in general to enter that place, like a grocery store, there's private property that not everybody is assumed or invited to be on, like your front yard. You kind of have to invite somebody. And then there is the commons, and whether we call this a city park or whatever. And I know the system that we live in is not perfect. I get, I get that. I wish it was different. But in our rough current system in the United States, there are city parks, there are national parks, there are roadways, there are sidewalks. And it would seem to me that if a person was going to be a, a, an advocate for government controlling what happens in public places, that that ought only to be for government places like sidewalks and parks and such in government buildings it should not carry over to private property. Private property owners can make their own laws, just as I'm guessing that your grocery store that you shop at is a law or policy, whatever you want to call it, a rule. Hey, while you're shopping here, if you're a woman, you have to have a, a top on. And they probably extend it to guys and they extend it to wearing shoes. No shoe, shirt, no shoes, no service, that, that old sign. Private places can make rules like that, and they ought to. They ought to make it comfortable uh, for the type of patron that they, they wish to have. Now, a grocery store in a nudist colony might say, okay, you can be topless in here, but you have to wear some bottoms. Or they can set whatever rule they want. This whole public place thing has gone way too far, and now we've got politicians masters, ruling class people, thinking that they can dictate whether or not a person can smoke in a public place. And when they say public place, they mean a bar. That should be up to the free market. The bar should get to decide about smoking, shirts, all that kind of stuff. Do you agree with this or am I off base somehow? If you would please subscribe, that would be great. And if you'd hit the notification bell, then you'll know when I put a new video out every so often.